Well, hello and welcome to the a bathroom of the dollhouse where all the heavy thinking gets done for another reading from the secret language of birth is by gary goldschneider and you stelfers for october 5th the day of the just cause and here at the top of the page is a visual representation of the day of the just cause well I suppose we have us some kind of weave, uh, I'm assuming. And got the uh, the threads that go one way, the threads that go another. I can't really see the details in it because it goes out of focus, but they're there. Nonetheless, I have no idea how that represents a just cause. But maybe that's not altogether important, or maybe they'll tie it in for us, so to speak, as we get on with the reading. But again, not altogether important because it's October 5th and it's somebody's birthday today. That's right. Hey, is it October 5th and it's your birthday? Well, if it is, I just want to extend you a heartfelt happy birthday. That's right. Happy birthday. And if this video finds you late, I don't know, a couple of days, weeks, months, who's to say? I just hope you had a happy birthday. That's right. I hope you had a happy birthday. But for everyone else who joins us randomly or more ideally to celebrate the October 5th birthday, I just want to say hello, welcome, and hope you enjoy yourself. Now, before we dive in with the redirect... Let's roll some dice. That's right. This is the DACast, a birthday broadcast. So we need to live up to the namesake there. But more importantly, we do it for synchronicity's sake. That's right. Here we rolled us a two and a six, four and eight. That's right. I believe that's the math. The number eight. Any of it. Hey, what synchronicity you might be wondering? It's just you getting out into the world and letting the universe show you it's with you on your path. And you do that by looking for these numbers. Now you can roll your own numbers. Hey, the intention's here for the two and the six for the eight, but you can get out there with your own dice. It's actually probably preferable in so far as you need to figure out which directions you're going. So maybe ascribe some number values to north, south, east, west, and then you wanna roll your dice to find out how long to go in those directions. And when you get to the end of that time limit that you've rolled, well, you just stop, compose yourself, and you look for your signs. That's right. You're two and you six, four and eight. Or maybe you just see something out of the ordinary. I don't know. Somebody wearing, say, like a hot pink shirt or something. Hey, they standing out against a more, I don't know, subdued background. Maybe you should give them a follow. You know, maybe hang back just a hair. Roll your dice. Figure out how long you should follow them for. That's enough time for them to get a little ways away. And then you just follow them. See where they take you. And maybe they take you to the number eight train. That's right. Hey, that's one of your numbers. So get on that train. See where it takes you. Maybe it takes you to... Uh, I don't know, an Egyptian cotton textile factory. That's right, where they do all the tight weaves. Who's to say? But that would be one heck of a theme, wouldn't it? All right. I think you get the idea of what uh, synchronicity is. So let's dive in with your birthday read. All right. Your month is October. Your day is the 5th. And your sign is 11 to 13 degrees Libra of the Libra 2 period. And your quality and element is cardinal air. All right, October 5th, the day of the just cause. Justice is a major theme in the lives of those born on October 5. Generally guarding the truth as they see it, they will do what they can to first expose and then oppose unfairness, corruption, or oppression. Not satisfied with this, however, they will often persuade friends, family members, or colleagues to help put the situation right. And those born on this day can be found working on a personal level or at the highest echelons of society with the same determination. In like manner, October 5 people insist on fair treatment for themselves and will not tolerate insults to their dignity. And indeed, the concept of fair play occupies such a central place in their speech and thought that they may be accused at times of using the just cause for their own personal advancement. And this may or may, this may, or may not be true, but in fairness, those born on this day generally think of the cause first and their own wishes second. And they can even go too far in this direction through self-sacrifice and self-denial, giving up what is most pleasurable to them for the sake of their ideals and the well-being of others. And they must moderate such behavior because sooner or later their personal needs and wants will assert themselves. And they may 
Uh, they may be forced to resign from a position or cut back drastically on the responsibilities they take on, leaving those who have grown dependent on them stranded. October 5 people are at heart life-oriented and fun-loving, and when functioning in a healthy way, they manage to get tremendous personal satisfaction out of lending or contributing to a team. The ultimate kick for them is the gratitude on the faces of those who benefit from their work. And in this respect, they are as interdependent as anyone else, perhaps even more so. Thus, altogether, they may appear to be strong, independent types, and they are in fact somewhat needy and hungry for appreciation. They generally show little interest in causes that do not directly involve people, for it is the human element which is vital to their outlook and their work. And rarely do October 5 people meld with their environment, and despite their need to immerse themselves in human activities, and often they will occupy a position for which they would objectively seem completely unsuited like someone who has to wear the wrong uniform. However, when highly successful, October 5 people may actually redefine the public image of the role which they play, and so powerful are their social instincts. And even those with only a modest degree of success tend to function in a unique way that raises a few eyebrows, but gets the job done. And October 5 people must be careful to avoid ego trips where their personality becomes a central focus, ultimately superseding their ideals and original purpose. Also, their criticism and judgment of others, particularly of what went on before they came on the scene, cannot be allowed to get out of hand. Thus, October 5 people must not only form their principles in opposition to what they despise, but mold a constructive vision of life as they wish it to be. All right. How about that for a birthday? I'll break down. That's right. Well, I've, I uh, put together some notes to perform a little bit of a commentary, if you like, on it. Let's see what I had to say. Uh, though this one I struggled with a little bit, I dare say. Uh, putting together the notes, if you like. Uh, maybe the read, too. I don't know. That's up for your uh, subject, subjective approval, if you like. But hey, let's get into the notes, shall we? Justice, a major theme in the lives of those born on this day. Uh, like justice for an accessible representational image. All right. It's cool to be your champion to that otherwise just cause. All right. That's that's why I'm here. All right. For the representational image. All right. Uh, since I'm about as satisfied with that as you are with unfairness or oppression. All right. But I'm sure this is probably a trite non-issue for those of you working with the higher echelons of society or on your own personal level. Uh, see, I'm all about your fair treatment. That's right. Uh, specifically within the birthday realm, if you like, or at least the birthday reading realm. Uh, I think you deserve a representational image that made more than, I don't know, six people understand what the heck it even represented. Uh, any event, uh, let me try to moderate my behavior the way the reading suggests you sometimes focus on your own personal needs over your just cause. All right. What with that uh, side of your being taking over uh, at some point, if left in the back seat long enough. All right, so let me be the example and move on by saying the reading also claims you are a fun-loving, life-oriented individual and you have a huge drive uh, to see the results of your work and the people that it benefits, all right? And their emotional response specifically is something you get a kick out of, apparently. Uh, and you also appreciate uh, lending towards or contributing to a team, it says. Uh, and I also found it interesting that you show little interest in causes that don't directly involve people. So in this respect, I was a bit confused by the, re the reading furthering that you often find yourself in positions you would otherwise object to, but that you tend to use to redefine the public image. Um, so like I said, it was, I was a little bit confused by that one, uh, but perhaps your sacrifice uh, for that kind of part is for the greater good. Um, uh, 
and uh, just cause of sorts, you might say. Uh, I also suggest it also suggests uh, to avoid ego trips or criticizing others. And I'm apt to agree, but don't want to be. Uh, you don't want to do the main goal any services, do you? You don't want to take away from that just cause, right? Uh, so like focusing on minutia instead of the larger purpose, right? Insofar as your representational image, if you were picking up on that. Any event, uh, this breakdown, like I said, was a bit difficult for me to get through or put together for whatever reason. Um, but uh, obviously I keyed to what stood out as a glaring anomaly to me. Uh, but hopefully that wasn't as, what wasn't as obvious was my attempt to uh, try and weave, if you like, that into what was said in the reading there uh in any event that was my vain attempt at doing so to try to justify the representational image that made no sense to me all right so i think you picked up on that let's dive in with your numbers and your planets pick the energy back up here all right those born on the fifth of the month are ruled by the number five and the speedy planet Mercury, which represents quickness of thought and change. And since Venus rules Libra, a Mercury-Venus connection lends charm and social magnetism to October 5 people, but also a tendency toward elitism and opportunism, it says. Due to Mercury's influence, October 5 people may like to change their involvement in certain social activities with great regularity. And whatever knocks or pitfalls those ruled by the number five encounter, they usually recover quickly. And in the case of October 5 people, this may mean discovering new friends and lovers on those occasions in life when they are rejected. All right, hey, what I have to say about your numbers and your planets. All right, the number five in the speedy planet Mercury for quickness of thought and change, charm and social magnetism. Uh, it seemed like a fairly obvious effect, in my opinion, uh, the, uh, the rulership between uh, Mercury and Venus lending toward uh, social magnetism and such. Um, but this tendency toward elitism and opportunism was a complete surprise to me. I didn't really see how that correlated. Not that I'm an astrologer by any, uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but you tend to pick up a few things reading all these birthdays, and that one just didn't seem to make sense to me. Uh, but I can't quite savvy why who's to say uh mercury ostensibly in addition to the effect of potentially changing your activities regularly who's to say uh but how about that recovering quickly from occasions of rejection all right specifically in matters of love right enviable quality if it in fact applies uh, perhaps more so than everything else previously mentioned but Something you might not be aware of or truly appreciate, assuming you're the one reaping its benefits. Just ask anybody else if they would like to be able to recover quickly from rejection, especially in the love field. If you do it real quick, you might not even appreciate it. <laughs> so any of that. It's been your numbers and your planets. Let's dive in with your tarot. That's right. One of the more eclectic of the metaphysical New Age ideologies, if you like, but uh, it's in the book. Why not broaden our horizons? At least see what it has to say. It doesn't mean we got to take it home with us, but uh, let's get into it, shall we? Your tarot. The fifth card of the major arcana is the Heriophant, an interpreter of sacred mysteries who is symbolic of human understanding and of faith. His knowledge is esoteric, and he has authority over things unseen. Favorable traits conferred by this card are self-assuredness and insight, and unfavorable traits include moralizing, bombast, and dogmatism. All right, this one was a complete copy-paste job. They just took it from the other one. No personalization, if you like, though they did personalize your numbers and planets, so maybe that was the trade-off. So let's get in what I had to say here with the notes. The Hario font for interpreting sacred mysteries and human understanding. All right. Uh, for authority over things un unseen, as they said. Uh, perhaps the sacred mysteries is in figuring out how this relates to someone taken with applying themselves to just causes. All right. And social evolution. Uh, as I was just having a hard time making that kind of uh, correlation. I could see how moralizing and bombast could be an issue for those who savvy themselves 
on the side of social justice, however, right? So he there, maybe this does apply. I'm just not seeing the connection. Uh, but yeah, I can see those social justice folks. They just, they get up there and they have their passion and other folks are like, man, just, just take it down a little bit. Like that one guy who reads all them birthdays who goes way too overboard with it. <laughs> Who's to say? The Heriophant, also known as a priest, if you like. And even that's been the tarot, so let's dive in with your health. All right, your health. Those born on October 5 must beware of neglecting their health. Regular checkups with family physician are recommended. And the tendency of October 5 people to sacrifice themselves to a cause or live for others may impact first on their physical health, but in the long run can also cause psychological frustrations due to suppression of personal needs. Socially oriented dependencies like smoking as well as drinking alcohol and coffee must be kept under control or ultimately eliminated if they cause physical problems. Team sports and walking are recommended for exercise. All right, there's been your health. What I have to say here, don't neglect your health, as they said at the top. It's probably easy to get wrapped up in your work, uh, at least especially when it's affiliated with a higher ideal, right? But you're needed at the top of your game, I would argue. And vices and stimulants are here again mentioned and has been carried on for all Libras since they started uh, talking about it, which is a little unusual. Normally you take any other zodiac sign and it's like piecemeal, it's all over the place. But here they keep insisting you keep track of the, uh, the coffee, the nicotine, the sugars in some cases and your stimulants, so perhaps take note. There was, however, no mention of your kidneys or internal organs, so maybe you broke that through line. But that being said, it's still a Libra thing, the kidneys and the uh, intestines as a body area there. So be mindful of that as well, even though they didn't mention it. They broke with convention there. They'd been carrying that through along with the nicotine and the, and the coffee and such, but they broke with it. In any event, you get the point. Let's move on with some advice. All right, your advice. Don't get so carried away with yourself. Remember to tune in and ask for spiritual advice frequently. And keep your small daily tasks in mind. Don't stumble over the stone at your feet while you eye the distant mountain. Oh man, that one almost sounded like a bit of a meditation, if you like. And even, hey, I had to write in the book my notes on the advice because I, uh, I filled up the notepad if you like so let's get into it you don't get carried away with yourself see it sounds like that's more for me considering the representational image but maybe a good example for your passion for fairness okay ask for spiritual advice frequently it says and I agree but I question where that comes from outside of the heriophant aspect uh, being the priest uh, I don't think they really talked much about the spiritual side of things um, Keep your daily tasks in mind. Yeah, don't neglect the small things, perhaps, is what they're trying to say there. Um, don't forget. Uh, it's easy to forget the small stuff. That's right. And uh, don't stumble due to what you're focused on. That's right. Again, a daily task kind of focus, but maybe more professionally uh, focused is what they're going for here. Take care of yourself, by and large, considering your value being what it is. Just dropping back in again on that whole through line of you're an important individual. You're doing good things. You're standing up for a cause. So you need to be at the top of your game. Unless everybody else uh, has to struggle. I think they said something about that. Everyone else is going to have to try to pick up the slack because they don't know what to do. Hey, it's going to happen at some point. But don't let it happen prematurely. That's right. All right. So that's the advice. Let's take the energy down and dive in with your real meditation here in the book. All right. We work for God. She is a tough boss, and the pay isn't always good, but the rewards are there. Hmm. <laughs> right. That one breaks with tradition, I dare say. Let's do it again here. We work for God. She's a tough boss, and the pay isn't always good, but the rewards are there. 
All right. This has been your meditation. I'm not going to break it down for you. It's your birthday, your meditation. I might throw some spin on it that uh, wouldn't do you any justice. So I'll leave it there for you. That being said, let's move on with your strengths and your weaknesses. That's right. Your strengths. You're just, you're life-oriented, and you're social. But your weaknesses. Let's get into your weaknesses here. What are they? You're preoccupied. You're bothered and you're anxious. Oh, anxious. That must be some of that Mercury, speedy planet Mercury uh, rulership there. They didn't really mention much about that outside of maybe getting a little uh, overwhelmed with work to the point where it carries over if you don't tend to your personal needs. Who's to say? In any event, you can, you can work on all of those. That's right. All right. So with that being said, your strengths and weaknesses in the can. Let's move on to those born on this day. And as we get into those born on this day, not only find out, not only do we find out who shares your company, but uh, I like to take this as a, uh, an opportunity to focus on something I find important, and that is uh, people's passions. That's right, I get out in the world and I meet folks and I ask them what they do, and more importantly, if they like it. And a lot of times they don't, and you know what? Justifiably so. They probably just haven't had the time to put into work to figure those things out. Because, you know, you got to get out of school, get into a job, get that financial security going, pay off them student loans. And then the weekends come along and you're busy changing the bed sheets and, you know, doing the diapers, if that's a thing. Just no time to put in that work. And so it falls by the wayside and you just start to uh, wonder what life's all about. You never had your opportunity. And so I figured this is the perfect opportunity, if you like to find out what other people did with their lives and see what put them not only in the book, but put their stamp on the, the cultural zeitgeist, if you like. And maybe you can just derive some inspiration if passions are a thing you're having an issue trying to drill down on. Who's to say? But let's just take the opportunity and get into it. And at the very least, we find out who shares your company. All right, let's get into it. We got a Waclaw Havel, a Czech president and a playwright, Denis Didreo. Uh, Diderot, perhaps a French name, I'm bad with these, was a French 18th century philosopher and an encyclopedia editor. We got Philip Berrigan, a Roman Catholic pacifist priest and an anti-war uh, activist. Chester A. Arthur, the U.S. president lawyer, an argued case on behalf of fugitive slaves and supported civil service reform. We also have Louis Lemur, was a French chemist, a movie camera uh, projector inventor, and the brother of uh, uh, August, with an E at the end of it. <laughs> All right, and also a pioneer filmmaker and father of French cinema, it says in quotations. We have Bob Geldof, a British rock musician, actor, and the Live Aid benefit organizer, and the autobiography... Is that it? With a question mark at the end. We have Horace Walpole, Earl of Oraford, a man of letters, it says. And also Mario Lemieux, the uh, Penguins Hockey Center, and a three-time NHL scoring leader, and he led Pittsburgh to two straight Stanley Cups. We also have Donald Pleasance, a British film actor, Steve Miller, the singer-songwriter, the Joker, if memory serves. Uh, we also have uh, Chevalier de Ion, French spy, masqueraded as a woman, it says. Richard Gordon, U.S. astronaut. Uh, Glynis Johns, South African-born film actress. We also have uh, Michael Andretti, an auto car, cart national champion, and a single-season record holder for wins. Uh, Elda Anderson, Los Alamos A-bomb worker and a health physicist, and it also says radiation protection advocate. Died from leukemia. Mm. We also have Barry Switzer, Oklahoma football coach, uh, and three national titles, it says. Three, I'll do that right. Uh, we got uh, Ramaswamy Cho, an Indian journalist, playwright, and a lawyer, uh, lawyer rather, T.P. O'Connor, an Irish member of parliament, Max Ackerman, a German painter and lithographer, and Frank Francis, the British Museum librarian 
Hey, we had a lot of erudite folks and some sports players, uh, some artists, a lot of French folks. I don't do well with those names. So, I, oh, I forgot here. Yeah, we got to, since I butchered some names, I got to come correct with that and do some butchering of my own on this side. This is not done in malice. It's just hooked on phonics. It doesn't work for me with the French names and about 20 other different dialects. So in any event, hey, that's been those born on this day. I, I know you probably didn't take much inspiration from it. But maybe you did. Hopefully you did. That's right. Unless you already have some passions. And in that case, maybe you just needed a little bit of inspiration to figure out how to make some money with them. Uh, in any, any event, that has been your birthday read. Except to say, your season is fall. Your sign, once again, is Libra of the Libra 2 period specifically. And your quality and element is Cardinal Air. And this has been October 5th. The Day of the Just Cause, from The Secret Language of Birthdays by Gary Goldschneider and Eust Elfers. I have an affiliate link for this book down in the description if you're interested in picking up your own copy. It makes a great coffee table book, especially if you're going to have company over and you need to get the party started with a bit of an icebreaker there. Hey, it's going to do the job in kind, it's either figuratively or literally, concerning how sizable it is. That's right. And if you get the hardback, boy, it's going to do it. It's going to break some walnuts, too, if you need. Uh, in the event, that's not what's important here. What's important here is it's your birthday, and we wish you a happy birthday. That's right. So I hope you have a happy birthday. And for everyone else who joined us to celebrate, hey, I hope you enjoyed yourself and you join us for your birthday read. But lest we forget, finally, your daily numbers. That's right. You thought I forgot. Or maybe you totally spaced it. I talked about it for minutes at the top end. Hey, get out there and let the universe show you it's with you on your path. And get them steps in at the very least. This The health said you needed to do that. Perfect opportunity. And it's your birthday. Get out there and see some magic happen right before your very eyes. And hopefully when you see it, you feel it too. That's right. It's your birthday. Do something special. All right. And with that said, once again, happy birthday and take care of yourselves.